All right, right. folks, we're back at it again. Let's go to war! All of war! Who's going to war? Bicycle war! Ooh. Use the bike a hundred times, get the medal. Andy! We're leaving wars up to the decision making of a 15 year old who was like an eight year old in the original artwork. You know? Andy's supposed to be 15? I think. <laughs> oh my god. They aged him up in this one. He looked way younger in the original artwork, trust he me. He's really young in that, yeah. Is. Yeah. So, um, I was really interested in this when they released it, but it came out too close to just everything else that I didn't really have time to try it. I think that's the story for most people. For me, it was Xenoblade 3 DLC and just not having time for that. Um, because <laughs> this game came out and then they announced, like, on the same day that, hey, Xenoblade 3 DLC next week, and, ugh. Yeah. There you go. So there was that, um... I was one of the lucky few who got to play this when I was a kid, and I said, damn, this sucks. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> okay. What? I played this when I was like 13, and I was also lucky enough to play Fire Emblem on the Game Boy Advance, and I also said that sucked. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you've turned around on Fire Emblem for the most mm, part, so yeah. well, let's we'll see if you turn well, around on this. This is Advance yeah. Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. Mm -hmm. uh, this got released, well, I guess, in our timeline, like what, like three weeks ago? It's pretty, yeah. it's, it's like less than a month, I think. Yep. Boom. Uh, this is a remake of the first two Advance War games uh, that are from the originally the Game Boy Advance. I grew up with the original one as well. It's one of the first GBA games I got. So uh, mm. we're going to play some multiplayer. And I've never played one at all. You've never but played But I've watched people play it. Okay, you've at least seen that. Okay, cool. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. Like, I, I am interested. Like, I want to see if I feel better about it like I do about Fire Emblem. Mm -hmm. console. Mm -hmm. And I thought this franchise was dead because Nintendo probably looked at this and was like, why do we have like two different chessboard series made by intelligent systems? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's more so I think that uh, the last one they did, which was like Days of Ruin, mm -hmm. where they changed up, they made it like super grim, dark, apocalyptic. Yeah. Well, I say super oh. grim, dark in quotation marks. Uh, but like, I just heard that one didn't do nearly as well. Uh, I didn't know about that game until very recently. Like, I'd never even heard of it. And then I saw people talking about how good the music was in it. Mm. It's bopping. All right, let's see here. What's going to be a good one to do here? We should probably do three player or do you two? Because you've got experience with it. I've got experience. Tim doesn't. Uh, so I do like tower defense games, so I'll probably catch on fairly quickly, I hope. Is yeah, it? it's not too bad. let us uh, I'm trying to think of what's an easy one to start with. I, I would do Pyramid Cape, but like whoever gets red kind of has a bit of an advantage up there. They have more options. Mm. Maybe we give that to, oh, I don't know if I want to say give that to Tim in a game that has puzzly elements, you know? <laughs> or like strategy elements. Uh, so unfortunately, I should point out for those who know the game, we have I have not unlocked much in my file. Like I was hoping to unlock more, but I I don't even have any COs unlocked. I just have the default four because you were too busy playing Xenoblade DLC, right? No, because I was too busy playing Pizza Tower. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. You know what? This one might be the best one, Mantis River. Uh, it's gonna have airports and or no, that's not factories. Yeah, airports. No, no uh, harbors. Probably our best option. Mm. All right. Tim, press the button on your controller so they get some sleep. Oh, right here we go. Here we go. We can do TRG colors, I guess. Yeah, it's up to you if you want. Oh, what? <laughs> you're Red Max. Yeah, so yeah, you, you're just like, this is the red slot, so I'm Red Max, oh. Red Sammy, Red Olaf, which I guess probably <laughs> is just Olaf. I mean, I usually play as I, Andy or Max, so I'm fine with whatever. Okay. All right, what do you want? I guess... I guess I'll be Max then. <laughs> I mean, you can. we can all be Andy if you want. <laughs> like, it's not, mm. it's not that hard to do. Uh, we can just have an army of Andy. See, it looks like Gabe from Penny Arcade in that color. Oh my scheme. god, he <laughs> does! <laughs> nice. Sure, let's do it. I'll be Gabe. You can right, be Tycho. Yeah. All right. And who do you want? Uh, your choices are uh, Matt. Or sorry, Max. Andy, Max, Sammy, and Olaf. They all have different advantages and disadvantages. Andy is balanced. Max is uh, his tanks are super strong, but his artillery are super weak. Mm. Uh, Sammy's ability is that she can uh, cap locations quicker, and her troops are stronger, I believe. And Olaf's, uh, I can't remember what his actual like, weak, or, like, strength is, but he has an effect that where he can make it snow and he does not lose uh, maneuverability. He lowers our it's, it's funny that it actually doesn't give you the options here for new players to show the differences. Hmm. <laughs> I would have thought they would have done that. No, I'm fine to defeat the same guy. You guys are using the balance, dude. Okay, we're all going to go with Andy. It's going to be an Andy yeah, Army. Yeah. All right. The Armory, the Bakery. Did the you want to? Oh, no, because you, you wanted to be Gabe. All right, so mm -hmm. we'll, we'll stick with that. I was going to say, did you want to change color? So I'm going to be Ryan Player 1. I'm red. Uh, Emil will be blue, and Tim is actual color of green. Blue. It's like we're Oh, yeah. Green represent. Actually, leave it to me. 
Oh yeah, by the way, their voice acted. Uh, Veronica Taylor is the voice for Andy, <laughs> AKA <laughs> Ash from Pokemon. Yep. Wow. It's nice to see you're still doing stuff. Fog of War cool. off. Weather clear. Oh, you can man, snow. <laughs> Snow, some movement costs increase, which limits range and uses additional fuel. Rain, vehicle off-road movement and cost increases by one. Vision minus one in Fog of War. Random. Anything can happen with the weather. Let's keep it clear for now since we're starting. We'll start with a thousand bucks. Cool. Oh, you can set a, li oh, you can set a turn limit. <laughs> okay. So the number of properties needed to win. Powers can be used for this battle and visuals. Battle and capture animation. Okay, cool. Are you move ready? out of your mom's house. <laughs> That's what I used to always say whenever it said move out when I played it as a kid. Oh my god, uh, of course. Yes. <laughs> Day, Day one. one. Alright, so if you've never seen Advance Wars before, it is a, it's a tactics game. So you everyone's got their own little bases here, like here's Emile's base. Which is gonna be weird seeing it in blue. Here's Tim's base. Mm -hmm. Here's my base up here. We have factories which we can use, to, or bases which we can use to make units. You can manufacture humans. Yeah, you have infantry, Sweet. mechs, recon vehicles, tanks, medium tanks, APCs, artillery, rockets, anti-air, and missiles. And it shows what they can target and what they cannot target on the side and what they're strong against and weak against. So missiles are strong against cop uh, copters and planes, which they're from the airport, obviously. Uh, yeah, the triangle means they're not strong. So machine guns are not strong against vehicles and copters. So you just kind of have to know how uh. that works. The other big thing is every unit has a max health of 10. The more damage a unit has taken, the weaker the unit becomes. So it does less damage. So it does the, less damage uh, and can, and yeah. It's going to be like slower at taking things over too if you want to do that. Yeah. So one thing you want to do is you want to actually take over these cities and bases first to kind of earn more money. Every base Ooh. in your control earns you a thousand bucks. So you want to get as many as you can around there and you want to try to, as fast as you can, try to stop your opponent from doing the same. So you've got an airport you can sh start from as well. Airports have, oh, I'm not going to see that if I click on yours. Airports, you can get fighters. Bombers, battle copters, and transport copters. So transport copters will obviously get around the, the map way faster and can refuel any character that's kind of out of ammo. So I'm going to start I'm making some infantry. They cannot move on the term they're created. That's important to know. Ooh, boy. And that's basically going to be my turn. And just to show something special here, CO, since we're all playing as Andy... The mechanical boy wonder with good all-around skills, impulsive to a fault, he's fiercely protective of those he calls friends. And he's average with no special advantages or disadvantages. He loves mechanics, hates waking up early. <laughs> average is where it's at. There you His go. power is uh, hyper repair. Andy's units restore plus two HP and gain plus 10 to firepower and defense. So there's a meter. Ooh. If you look at around Andy's portrait there where your money is, when that fills up and starts flashing, you can activate that whenever you want. It's usually better to use at the start of your turn because you do more damage and take less damage, uh, but it also repairs your units. So it's, you got to learn to use it at the right time. Hmm. All right. Is there anything that can be cr moved on the turn that it's created, or is it all units cannot move the turn? All units created? cannot move the turn they are created. Okay. Just wondering if that was just interesting. So basically, everyone's going to have the uh, hmm. exact same first turn, more or less. Mm -hmm. Day one. Boy, I hope you love Andy's ball, 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 theme because no one picked a different theme. <laughs> A mech on M71. I bet I could use it to cal recalibrate the anti-air batteries. <laughs> wow, you. Very nice. You, I should have known you would never resist the Xenoblade reference. I know. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just going to do what you did. Honestly, it's kind it's, of it's one of the better turns. to make other stuff. Green, Green Earth. Earth. Yeah, I like the Earth. All right, press LR. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, time to manufacture some humans. I never thought going to war could be so fun. In my hoot nanny <laughs> houses. I mean, that's the whole Dude. point of Advance Wars. I see, I'm excited for this because I never really got to play the multiplayer uh, in this game. I only ever got to play the single player. So Orange this, this is a nice change of pace. Yeah, I, I never got to do this. I know that like the whole like four-player link cable thing was like a big thing when the Game Boy Advance came out, and they were trying to make all their mm. games have multiplayer to kind of play off of that. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so important thing for capturing is based on your unit's health, and only the infantry and mech can do this. Ooh. So it will always take, at minimum, two turns to cap something unless you use Sammy's ability or something like that. 
pump. So those are all things to keep in mind. Now, obviously, if this character had less health, it would take longer to cap. Mm -hmm. There are two ways to win. One is, well, actually, it might be different in this mode, but usually it's you kill off all the units or you take over your opponent's headquarters. So if you take out mm -hmm. someone's headquarters by capturing it and they can't stop it in time, it doesn't matter if they have a full army going around, they're, they're done. Ugh. So that's one thing you got to balance in there here. Ooh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> money! <laughs> I think we'll just do that. Let's try to get as much money as we can to start making some actual units. Yes, sir. Uh, well, I guess we're going to start with an air... No, we're not. <laughs> no, not quite. You have a big advantage on your side. Whoa, I'm yeah. actually surprised at that advantage, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Maybe making a recon would have been a smarter idea for me. You also could have made an APC and like yeah. moved them around a little bit quicker, but yeah, that depends. I tried to pick the most balanced looking of the three, so sorry about that. I think the one trade-off is though you've got like access to an extra farther away factory right there in the middle you can get to. But I guess you would be closer to Tim's, which would start war a little quicker. Yikes. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's just go all in. <laughs> oh boy. Bring it on! Ooh, okay. Alright. I guess we have more stuff in the middle, that's another thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. the thing. Like You've got quicker access to that, but you're also going to bump into Tim quicker than I will to either of you, actually. Yeah, Oof. I. so I, I was a very simple-minded American child when I played this for the first time. I remember that 12-year-old me's opinion is, why the heck would I ever want to play chess in a video game when I could just be shooting things instead? <laughs> I mean, technically, you do shoot things in this well, game. Well, I mean, like, I wish I, like, was given, like, the bazooka and was, like, actually hitting stuff, you know? Well, good news. There's a series called Battalion Wars, which is basically <laughs> just the spin-off of this. I've never tried... I, I find it so funny how this is called Advance Wars because it started on the Game Boy Advance, but in Japan, it's called Famicom Wars, which would give you an idea of how fucking long it took for it to come out here. Yeah, um, this predates Fire Emblem. Yes. Which, uh, I, when I originally was like, I couldn't remember which it was, which came out first, but yeah. It's crazy. It's and, really funny. And it's funny that it took that long for us to get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I've got these closer to me, but I can't get to those without a little bit of work, so... There was that whole, like, stigma in the 90s that, oh, the Americans won't understand our extremely complicated video games. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we got, I don't know how many Romance of the Three Kingdom games we got. <laughs> yeah. There are always efforts to try to make RPGs and games with numbers catch on here, but... Yeah, we never got to do the Sudoku puzzle in 999. I'm terrible at Sudoku. Like, I, I don't get it. I've tried uh, so many times that I'm just, I'm <laughs> no good at it. I did it the other day just for the hell of it. Or, well, that was like six months ago. I Ooh. actually, like, I had an elementary school teacher who really thought the word for, like, seppuku was Sudoku. Like, she actually thought the word was Sudoku. Oh, my God. And I tried to argue. I was like, no, that's Ooh. Seppuku. And she actually, like, was like, no, it's not. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the teacher was awful. Oh, yeah. If you ever want to know how far away a unit is in, like, its attack range, hold down B on it. And uh -huh. anything in the red is where it can be attacked or where ah. it can attack your unit. So be careful of that. Interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys get access to two airports on your side. I only get access to one. Mm, so I guess that's one thing they do to balance it out. You kind of get options on who you want to attack first, too. Blue Moon! Last mm. turn. So, here's my idea. So you go there. Start doing that. Just jump up and down on that. I love that animation. It's <laughs> that so is really funny. Get down there, you stupid building! Having seen the original animation, this is very accurate to what it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Way 4 did a Fuck really you, good job with control. this. Oh, this is way forward. <laughs> yeah. It looks like their style, actually, now that you say that. It does. Yeah. It has, like, their quirks, too. I love way forward, but they have got, like, these weird quirks that you see in their games all the time. Like, the voice, there's only, like, half voice acted lines, mm -hmm. which always bug me, but I get why they do it. Uh, oh, when you drop a, uh, drop a unit, they don't get their turn. Yeah. That's the warning on that. So, yeah. But you've already used their turn, so. I guess I could just drop them. I, honestly, if I were you, I would drop him on the bridge, and then you basically next turn can that's cap whichever one you want. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. That's a cool idea. Um, 
It does always bother me whenever the half voice acted lines where they say like the first four words of the line and then they just stop and yep. it's like, uh... Yeah. Yep, that's way forward. I love them. They've got uh. great, vo great voice actors. A couple friends of mine have done work for them, but they only do half lines. I assume it's just because they don't have the, the budget for it. For the full VA. That stuff is pricey if they want to pay fair wages. Nobody pays, pays fair wages anymore. Okay. Mm -hmm. As I say, that's kind of the problem. Yeah, I know. This is being I, done during the writer's it's, strike. It's amazing how many problems in the world could be fixed if people just pay to their workers. <laughs> like, it's amazing. Well, like, you're, funny how really that works. Would, huh? yeah. Every time there's ever any kind of problem, it's always like, well, they didn't pay their workers. And I'm like, you know, you could just pay your workers. <laughs> you had the transport copter as an option to you. Yeah. Um, it's basically just a flying APC. Yes. What does APC oh, stand for? Armored Personnel Carrier. Ooh, that's cool sound. Nice. I just know everything about war. The game tells you this. Oh, <laughs> it tells you oh. in the story mode. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very well. Next turn, Green Earth. All right. Well, voice thing is voice too. Yeah, so what we're going to do with this one, I guess we probably should have said this up front, is we're going to do this kind of as a one shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's probably going to be a couple parts based on how Advanced Wars games can go. And then. Uh, <laughs> If you guys want more, we're willing to do more in the future. Yeah. And this can be played online, too. So we can, yeah. we can record this without actually being in person. We can do this without seeing each other's faces. <laughs> the only <laughs> downside is it'll be tied to everyone's, like, their, who they have available will be tied to progress. So if uh, one of us gets farther than the others, we'll have a different CO list. I might buy this game and play it whenever a game releases slow down. Tears of the Kingdom is coming out tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's at the, the time thing. of recording. We picked a bad time for a recording trip. Yeah, we <laughs> did. Um, gosh, it was... I just started a new series like three weeks ago, and I barely had enough time to play Xenoblade 3 DLC before coming out. It's the third time this video I've mentioned it. <laughs> no, I can, that you can You can move farther. You're only moving like two out of three spaces. Yeah, I'm a little hesitant about <laughs> jumping into the fray, which I probably shouldn't be. <laughs> no, like, that, that's like fair, that. but yeah. Don't go too slow. Yeah. I want to be cautious, but not too cautious. Did you make APCs or are those recons? Um, I think it's a recon. Oh, that is a recon. Okay. Sorry, I have some more humans here. And I reckon that's all we can really do then. Cool. Boop. Back to Orc me. Orc Star, you all don't right. exist. I realized that mm. I forgot to, like, tap on my guys capturing stuff. Oh, did you not? Uh -oh. I thought it would happen automatically. Oh no, no. <laughs> no, you got to you got to manually do that. Uh -oh. If you're ever not sure if you've used all your units, tapping uh, R R1, uh-huh, will rotate okay. through your your units. Oh, I thought yeah. that would happen automatically if they were I on think that's it. That's in Fire Emblem too. Though. I wouldn't surprise if that was in Fire Emblem. It is. Do 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 do. Oh, you rolling. Ah, getting the bridges all secured. Yeah. Definitely. I have things cross water. Yep. Yeah. Well, as long as yeah, it's shallow yeah. water. The deep water, nothing. Oh. At least I think this is considered deep water. Pretty sure. Yeah. Mm. Oh, God, he has a tank now. All right. Well, let's see. Okay, well, let's oh, start boy. with this because I need to do this. Yeah, I thought it, Tim did the same thing. I guess he thought it was automatic, too. No, I think Tim did his cap. Oh, I just wasn't up to the city on the first turn, so... Oh, no, I mean over here. Huh. Shoot. Weep, weep, weep. Capture. Good call there, actually. Now it blocks his vehicle from getting across, so he can't actually stop you from capping the base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to keep him busy. The boom, decisions, decisions. Bop. He's got 10,000 bucks, you know? He's got his first tank. War. War's about to break out, boys and girls. <laughs> oh, no. Let's do. I'm going all in. Hit him back, all right, there you go. Booyah. Green Earth. Well, booyah remains to be seen. I must say. <clears throat> so, first things first. Get your extra money. <clears throat> Buddy? Yep. <laughs> and then end your turn immediately. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be the first to strike. 
He's yeah, got a couple I'm... fronts he can attack on right now. A war on two fronts. Do, 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 do. I think I almost have to. <laughs> yeah. percent damage. First attack. That could be a four or a five. I think leaning towards it being a five chances. I think it usually rounds down, yeah. Five. Eh. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> So ABCs do so not I attack guess you back, can't, like, no. Go through the no, but you can have your guy go across the water to shoot his guy in that building. Oh, yeah. Now, every location that a piece is on offers a defense level. Cities, I think, have a defense level of three. Oh, I see. I don't know how much. I'm assuming the water has a zero or one. Probably the same as the plane. Uh, but yeah, like you get to attack first, and then your opponent will counterattack. Yeah, so if you can kill them, you don't have to worry about getting hurt yourself. Yeah, yeah seems to me. Um, I like how they say that, like, the unit will disappear. They don't use the word kill. Well, they fly off screen, so... Might as well try it. Oh, defense level of zero. Oh. Boom. Ooh, hanging in there. Yeah, so the unit's yeah. gonna get weaker. Yeah, and now it's gonna take him longer to cap that building. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh my gosh, this is deeper than I expected. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> awesome. No, it is. This series is great. I'm so glad this, the remake actually finally came out. Okay, you go there then. Let's have you in here for... Yeah, this is better than I thought it would be, because I honestly, like, going into this, I was expecting Fire Emblem without the story. <laughs> is kind of what I I mean, there expecting. is a story here. Yeah. Advance Wars 1 story is fairly basic. I've heard 2 is really where it's at. And both some, of them are in here. So. I heard some people said that you have to be an Advance Wars 1 remake before you can play 2. You do not. You do oh. So here's the thing, and I, we found this out on stream. Oh. Uh, at one point, the game asks you, like, is this your first time playing Advance Wars? If you say no, or if it is yes, sorry. If you say yes, it is your first time, you are forced to play through Advance Wars 1. If you say no, that you've played it before, you can choose. Oh. It frames it, the image that they show you, like, between the two games, makes it look like the second game is locked. But if you click it, it will give you a content warning of, like, hey, this is very logically going to spoil the story of Advance Wars 1, but if you want to play it, you can do it. Oh, okay. Mm. So, Interesting. Uh, yeah. So wow. apparently it's a, a specific, like, hidden option setting, essentially, but... Oh, or, it, I don't mm. know if it is like that anyways. Like, you can always do it and just no one tried, but... Ah, I like that. I, I just watched, like, Steven livestream it, and he was talking about... I, they mentioned that it was a shame that you couldn't play it. That's just what I thought. Nope, you absolutely can. Bleeding. Must have been excruciating for voice actors, like to have to wait an extra year to say that they voiced in this. Yeah, oh, so how that, in the world? <laughs> that's the weird thing. And like, we know a couple of the people too. Aaron Hansen voiced one of the characters. Oh, he did. Yeah, Aaron Hansen voiced Max. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, sure enough. Um, Christina V is Nell. Some other well-known VAs are in this, but I unfortunately don't remember who is who anymore. My chat remembered better than I did. Yeah, no, there's a there's a bunch of like super well known Nintendo VAs and the usual crew that Way Forward pulls from. Mm -hmm. Can mm -hmm. I, ooh, I don't want you getting that factory if I'm gonna be real with you. Oh fuck you! <laughs> I didn't even think you could do that. Oh yeah. Oh. It was close. It was very close. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to actually get down there. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Moon! It's starting to get heavy now. Actual wars beginning finally. Any I unit know. that is on a base or like city that they oh, own. Oh, fight it. What? You went, you clicked on me, which was fight. In Fire Oops. Emblem, that would give me a pop up explaining nope. what was going to happen. Ooh. No, no pop up. He's hovering over, gives you the pop up you're uh, thinking of. Crap, I didn't uh, know that. Yeah, so like click him and it, yeah, it, that's what you were looking for. It, yeah. it does it automatically. I know that I had a disadvantage, but I want to see what it would do at least. Uh, I don't think there's an undo in multiplayer. I'm going to assume not. Do, 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 do. Press pause and see if anything comes up. No, never mind. Does it make sense the multiplayer wouldn't have that mm -hmm. for sure? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Do, 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 do. You can also fuse together damaged units into one to heal them together, combines their totals. But obviously, they don't get a turn if you do that. And any capturing mm. you're doing is gone. Capture progress only lasts while your unit is on that base. So if I kill him now, like you have to do, it starts back at 20. Oh, mechs do not move very fast. Mechs have a unit movement of two, since they are heavier, because they're carrying bazookas. 
but they do way more damage ah. to vehicles. That's why when you want to cap, you usually want infantry, and then when you want to actually start messing up people's stuff, that's when you <laughs> send in the mechs, and better. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's going to do is 8,000 bucks. What are you going to birth? Now remember, also look at what a unit is strong and weak against. So the anti-air is obviously great against anti-flying vehicles, but it's also good against infantry. Mm -hmm. It's bad against vehicles, though. Ground vehicles. I find it so weird there's a medium tank but not a large tank. Uh, mm. there is. Oh. <laughs> it's, oh. it's just not in Advance Wars 1 for the most part. Oh, yeah. They did fix that with the later games, don't worry. Well, it's not called a large tank, it's, it's called something else. I actually don't know, and, and comments will know this better at this point. Uh, I don't know if playing through unlocking Advance Wars 2 in this version unlocks the Advance Wars 2 units as well in your main game, or does it let you? Does it force you to pick between AV1 a, and 2 style? Because we don't have hmm. super CO powers. We seem to just have basic CO powers. We just have super CO. So I assume that's all tied behind any progress in AW2. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Do you done here? No, you're gonna be not fine. quite you got, yet. You got high defense. And remember, his attack power is down because he already took, he took his attack. Yeah, power. yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's kind of the beauty of it is that you're both getting weaker. Oh, yeah. He's got a good position. I'm just wondering what he's going to do here. This might not have been the. I mean, he's not going to hit you. you so. Yeah, it's, it's free damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm just blocking you out. <laughs> Starting to see like, poss like possibilities. That's that's the beauty of the game, dude. It's figuring out Ooh. what move is the correct move and how to counteract the other ones. Like you've got a couple things you can do here. I see a really tasty move you could do right now. A couple tasty moves, actually. <laughs> oh, actually. Yee. Oh, good. you got the guy on the bridge too. I mean, I could just yeah, you can't. You cannot yeah, move through enemy uh, units, but if you destroy an enemy's unit, you can move through your own. So if you were to destroy that APC and then send the other recon in, you could do that. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I was just sticking it there to block you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I say to hell with that. I ah! disappeared in a, in a fire cloud of fire. Oh my god. Oh yeah, my so boy. now you can choose who you want to attack. You can either get his capture unit dead, or you can aim for my recon. Yeah, I'm gonna go and take you. Oh, come on! Yeah, I, saw that. I saw that coming. Yeah. He's like in the mm. middle and richer than us. <laughs> but I want to be rich too. Because <laughs> so he can get in and I can't stop him there. Oh, clever girl. 